Advances in research on mantle cell lymphoma, or MCL, are resulting in more options to treat the disease and improve the quality of life for people affected by MCL. Mantle cell lymphoma, or MCL, starts when a type of white blood cell called B lymphocytes begin to grow too fast. These cells are part of your immune system and normally help fight infection. MCL grows in your lymphatic system, which includes your lymph nodes, some organs, and your bone marrow. Treatment for mantle cell lymphoma is aimed at finding and destroying the cancer cells in your body. If doctors can't find any signs of lymphoma after treatment, this is called remission or a complete response. Even if some cancer cells are still there, your treatment can still help you feel better and keep the disease under control. If your MCL is slow growing and not causing any symptoms, your doctor might suggest watching it closely instead of starting treatment right away. This is called active surveillance or watch and wait. And it means having regular checkups to monitor the cancer. When treatment is needed, there are several options. These include chemotherapy, targeted therapy, stem cell transplant, radiation, and immunotherapies. Chemotherapy uses strong medicine to kill fast-growing cancer cells. It's often used along with other treatments to help them work together better. Radiation therapy uses high energy rays like x-rays to kill cancer cells. It can be used to treat specific parts of the body where MCL is growing. For some people, especially those who are younger and in good health, doctors may recommend high dose chemotherapy followed by an autologous stem cell transplant. This means replacing damaged bone marrow with healthy stem cells that were collected from your body before treatment. Sometimes doctors may use stem cells from a donor to help treat mantle cell lymphoma. This is called an allogenic stem cell transplant. It may help people stay in remission longer, but it comes with higher risks. That's why it's usually used only if the cancer comes back after treatment. Another treatment option for MCL is immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is a type of treatment that helps your body's own immune system fight cancer. It's an important option for treating MCL, especially if the cancer comes back or doesn't respond to other treatments. One kind of immunotherapy is called CAR T cell therapy. It may be used when other treatments haven't worked. Doctors take some of your immune cells, change them in a lab to help them better find and kill cancer cells, then put them back into your body. Another way to treat mantle cell lymphoma is with targeted therapy. Targeted therapy uses special drugs that find and attack cancer cells while leaving most healthy cells alone. These drugs focus on specific changes inside cancer cells so they cause less harm to the rest of the body. Targeted therapy can be a good option for people who can't have strong chemotherapy or a stem cell transplant. One kind of targeted therapy that may be used to treat MCL is called a BTK inhibitor. It blocks signals that cancer cells use to grow and stay alive. Taking part in a clinical trial may be the best treatment choice for some people with MCL. Clinical trials are underway for individuals at every treatment stage of MCL. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada if you'd like to learn more about clinical trials. All treatments can have side effects. Side effects are any unwanted or unexpected reaction to a medication. With chemotherapy and radiation therapy, the most common side effects are nausea and vomiting. 
diarrhea or constipation, temporary hair loss, fatigue, and increased risk of infections. Common side effects of stem cell transplants include feeling tired for a long time. There's also a higher chance of getting infections while your immune system recovers. If the transplant uses donor stem cells, called an allogenic transplant, there is a risk of serious condition called graft versus host disease, or GVHD. Side effects of GVHD include skin rashes, stomach problems, and liver issues. With immunotherapy, side effects may include flu-like symptoms such as fever, chills, muscle aches, skin rash or itching, low blood pressure, and liver problems. The side effects of targeted therapy can include diarrhea or stomach discomfort, swelling in the hands, feet, or face, and changes in blood counts, leading to a higher risk of infections or bleeding. Some side effects from treatment can last a long time. These are called long-term effects. They can continue for months or even years after treatment is over. One common long-term effect is feeling very tired, also called fatigue. Late effects are medical problems that do not show up until years after treatment ends. Late effects can include heart disease, secondary cancers, fertility issues, thyroid problems, trouble concentrating, and chronic fatigue. See your doctor during treatment and for follow-up care after your treatment ends to manage immediate and late side effects. It's important to know that you can better manage your MCL and have a better quality of life if you communicate with your healthcare team, family, and friends. You're not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand your MCL treatment options and help you manage the road ahead.